I need more accounts to survive. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. Well, you know, lately I've been getting some emails with people saying that they need more accounts in order to survive. And, you know, so my I started asking questions and uh, generally my first question is, what are you currently doing for your marketing? Well, nothing. They've been relying on referrals and word of mouth. So, eventually that will dry up uh, and that means that you got to start uh, or you hopefully you've been doing some marketing uh, to help uh, pick up the slack because if you haven't uh, that's going to stop and you're not going to have any leads uh, so that means that you're not going on any walkthroughs you're, you're not closing any sales so that's my, my answer to these uh, to those people that uh, that need accounts in order to survive otherwise you got to close their business well, there's two things you should never stop doing. Never stop marketing, never stop uh, finding good applicants. They go hand in hand because if we're doing our marketing and we can do it in a number of different ways, uh, first of all, we need a good website that has a good SEO so when people are searching for cleaning services that hopefully they find us. You know, the other thing that we can do is that we need to have our list. We need to create a list of prospects um, and that's real simple to do. Think about the sectors that you're serving. Who's your ideal client? Create a list of those types of clients. And um, you know, from there, you'll have that list. And you know, have a list of three to 500, and then just start going through them. Uh, you're gonna start collecting the information off every company. You're gonna have their website, phone number, contact person. You're gonna visit the website. That's where you're gonna get a lot of information. And you're gonna start making some phone calls. And hopefully you have some scripts you know, some sales scripts that you can use. If not, go to the janitorialstore.com uh, and go into the download library and go to uh, sales forms. We have multiple scripts in there uh, for various uh, for various types of uh, uh, situations that you may get into. So, so there, uh, once you have your, your list and your scripts, you know, go ahead and start making phone calls. You know, it's a numbers game. You know, and don't give up. Don't get discouraged just because somebody currently has a service or they're not interested. And remember, you know, it could be, it could be the way that you're presenting the uh, presenting yourself. So you know, hone your skills. You know, get to memorize the different scripts. So when somebody has an objection, that you'll be able to have a, or have a response for that. Um, so think about that. So that's probably the best way to uh, get some leads. Uh, is to build your list, set appointments, and go to those appointments. And hopefully you're doing walkthroughs and then hopefully closing the deal. But if not, continue to follow up with them. Just because you didn't close the deal doesn't mean it's the end of the sale. Uh, you know, in the cleaning industry, it's all about timing. One week a person's happy with their cleaner, the next week they'd like to strangle them. So, you never know when that opportunity happens, so stay, stay in contact with these people and follow up. Either put them on your newsletter list or, or just put it on your CRM that you're going to contact them once a month uh, just to see how things are going with their clean. But you always want to be in front, uh, you know, in, in front of them uh, so they know that you're available to step in at any time. So that's the one thing you can do. Now, you know, you can still do direct mail too. So don't, don't give up on that. You know, we have sales letters in the download library. You can edit them and create, you know, and uh, change them up a little bit and uh, you know use those and uh, you know I created a series of, of sales letters that you can use uh, to hopefully get those seven to ten touches that you need in order to possibly close a deal so that's another way uh, now you also uh, can do uh, you know your social media so think about that so these are all things that you have to do in order to continually get leads uh, they just don't magically come in you have to do some work and yet you have to sometimes invest some money. You know, so if you're doing Facebook ads or and LinkedIn ads or things like that there, it's going to cost you some money. But, you know, that's, that's the, the, you know, that's the cost of doing business. So, you know, decide on what you want to do. Uh, if you want to do low cost, no cost uh, marketing and advertising, well, then create your list and start dialing. You know, I call it dialing for dollars because that, that's exactly what you're doing. So put the, put the program together. You know, and like I say, you have all the resources right on the janitorialstore.com. Go to the download library. Uh, we have resources on My House Cleaning Biz too. So, you know, it's there. Just use them. And, uh, you know, never stop marketing. 
never stop telling people what you do. And, uh, you know, that's one I forgot was, uh, which I'm really big on, is uh, in-person uh, networking. So, you know, maybe you're not going to join the, the B&I group, that your local B&I group, because it's just not a good fit, but there's other networking groups that you can join. You know, get involved, get to know people, build relationships, you know, people know other people. And that's really how you get uh, get the opportunities to you know present and do walkthroughs and, and do proposals. So you know do that so that way you don't have to say well geez you know I need leads uh, otherwise I'm going to go out of business. Well, it's you know it's all up to you. You're the business owner. Uh, you know uh, things just don't magically happen. You have to take action. So uh, if you do that, you know you'll get results. And in fact, you know if you go to the janitorial store, we have a five week challenge for sales. If you follow those steps, you're going to get some. You're going to get some face time with some prospects. You're going to be able to do some walkthroughs. You just need to take the initiative and follow the steps, and uh, you'll be fine. You'll uh, you'll get accounts. So if you like this here, go ahead and click on the like button and share button. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have hundreds of uh, cleaning videos uh, on uh, on how to uh, start and build a successful cleaning business. But until then, see ya.